Chief? Where's Samir? On the phone with his wife. I hope it's important. Go ahead. I'll pass it on to Samir. The investigative bureau found three possible suspects based on your description of Novikov. You should take a look at the files. Maybe you can tell if Novikov is one of the three. Chief? Samir, you can take care of private affairs in your own time, please. My wife is in trouble. She had to fetch some stuff today, and it looks like she's being watched. Two men keep showing up around her. <sighs> that doesn't sound good. We'll send a patrol car to bring her home. I'd rather I do it myself. Okay, Ben. You drive alone to the emergency task force and take a look at the files. They're expecting you ASAP. I'm already gone. I hope I can recognize Novikov from the photos. Ben, have you taken care of it? Report. Suzanne. Yep, I've identified Novikov. You sound worried. Andrea, Samir's wife just called. Samir was going to pick her up, but when he arrived, two men grabbed and bundled him into a car and raced off. Damn. Can Andrea describe the men? Just get back here as quick as you can. Any news on Seymour? I've just had one of the kidnappers on the phone. They're demanding the explosives that we confiscated from the first truck. In exchange for Seymour? Yeah. They want us to load the explosives into a van and want you to drive them to the meeting point personally. Then they'll have the explosives and Seymour and me. We'll be sleeping with the fishes. We'll send back up. That's not part of their plan either. If they call again, we'll try to locate their mobile and we'll fit you out with a homing device. Can you swallow one of those things? You want to swallow a homing device? Those guys are smart. So are you. The van is already being prepped. You can drive off soon. Watch out for yourself. Ben, the kidnappers have called us again. They've got your number now, so they'll contact you directly. We'll find out whether their cell has GPS capability. All right, thanks. You're at the meeting point. You can see me? We wanted to be sure that you were alone. Keep driving.
I'm at the meeting point. Where are you? You see the car? It's unlocked. Put on the clothes on the passenger seat. Put your stuff, bugs, and weapon in the van. Leave it there and take the car. Then you've got the explosives and I've got some old clothes. That's not how it works. We make the rules here. I've still got your explosives. Do you want to see your partner alive again? Where can I pick up Seamir? There's a map in the car. Where's my partner? Keep driving till you reach the green point on the map. These bastards are stalling. We've managed to locate the mobile the kidnappers are using. Looks like some kind of warehouse. I'm headed there now. Those bastards are just sending me on a goose chase. We're sending you back up. Definitely. I'm not even armed. Seamir, everything okay with you? Yeah, I'm I'm all right, man. Thanks, man, thanks. No worries. I went to see the emergency task force. I was able to identify Novikov. He's an ex-military commander. It looks like he wanted to kill the newly elected democratic leader of his home country together with the delegation by attacking the conference. Confirmed. Was Novikov here? Yeah, he told me everything himself. I was starting to worry that I wouldn't make it out of here alive. It'll be fine. I'll buy you a coffee. Forget it. We need to hurry to the airport. Is Novikov trying to get away? I can listen to a call he made. A flight was delayed. They prepared the fourth explosive charge here. The van drove away just a few minutes ago. Another attack? On the president's airplane? Looks like it. Suzanne, can you find out which airplane the president and his delegation are on? We need the gate, runway, takeoff time, everything, and send us back up! Samir! Thank God. Are you alright? I'm fine. Can you get the information for us as quickly as possible? We're already on the way to the airport. I'll hurry. Samir, Ben? The President's already in the airplane. The plane will be starting up in a few minutes. HQ, this is Cobra 11. Send all available units. They're already all on their way to you. Suzanne, can you try and delay the takeoff? The Chief is already making calls like crazy to the Ministry, Embassy, Emergency Task Force. The President won't get off the plane in time. Ben, there! There's a van! That nutjob is trying to blow up the airplane! Step on him, man! Damn it, we've only got one chance! Ben. Yeah? Next time, an international economic summit is taking place here, and you know about it, tell me beforehand. Yep, I will. I'm gonna take a vacation. 
We can go somewhere together. Same here, Ben? What now? Is there a nuclear bomb somewhere for us to disarm? You guys all right? We're fine, but the airport fire brigade is a little busy at the moment. Well, the plane took off, so we should have some peace again. But Novikov is still on the run. The investigative bureau will be taking over the Novikov case. Good to hear. I'm not too hot on the idea of seeing him again. Chief, we'd really like to clock out for today. All right. You can write your report tomorrow. I just wanted to say that the president called from his place. He sends you his regards and wanted to give you his express thanks. Say hi back. <laughs> Who would have thought we'd get out of this one in one piece? And who'd have thought that everyone else would get out in one piece as well? You're real funny. That was really dangerous at times. My hair is turning gray from all the stress and the chicks that I hit and always call me grandpa. Well, maybe you should hit on someone your own age. In any case, I'm not going to let an astrologist read my palm. Ha ha. One would expect that we'd receive a mention from the chief. I don't really need that at the moment, not after all the verbal thrashing she's been treating us to. Not being reprimanded is praise enough. Well, we did our jobs and all the bad guys are behind bars. And now? What are we gonna do now? Take a break? The next part with you and me is probably already in production. And I've heard that it's going to be much more exhausting than this one. Ouch! When will one of the game designers finally realize I'm getting too old for this? You are, but I'm not. They know that too. I guess they'll let you take more of a desk job role. They'll hand me the more action-packed moments. Hey, hold on a moment. You said you didn't want to be handing out parking tickets because you had to run too much. Bad for the feet and all. Haven't you noticed that they're more often calling us Ben and Seymour and not Seymour and Ben? Maybe I'll have a new partner in the next part. Or at least it'll be called Cobra 11 with Ben Yeager and the main role featuring Seymour Gergen. Uh, no way! My partners always die before they get name first. Hmm, well, that's a killer argument. So, always be careful. Hey, first you gotta reach it with your little arms. It's not the size, but how you use it. Who says? I read it somewhere.